Hello everybody, and today is Saturday, the last day of August, so that's all cool. I have a few kind of important things to talk about today. I would like to start off by saying last week, Saturday's video, that giant unboxing was fake. Uh, and it was funny because everybody believed it, and basically I found a box in my room here that I'm recording in now with a ton of cube boxes in it, so I'm like, hey, let's make an unboxing and i just put a bunch of cubes that i already had in the boxes so yeah i didn't buy any of those puzzles i mean a lot of more older puzzles um i got a bunch of them at worlds though so that's all cool another thing is today is right smack in between two of my friends birthdays one was yesterday one's tomorrow so everybody would appreciate it if you would go check out their channels uh links below so uh, that's all cool. I'd like to wish happy birthday to both of them. Another thing, I got my camera back today, this one, and it's working beautifully. And so that's all good. I can start taking pictures again. I already have a thing scheduled to take pictures on Monday. So that's cool. And uh, my birthday is on Wednesday, but I don't... The only reason I would tell you is last year I had like an unboxing which was cool. It was actually pretty big. Well, it was expensive, not big. Um, that unboxing was actually pretty expensive for... Whatever. That's besides the point. No unboxing this year. Uh, the only present I'm getting is my mom is paying for part of a jacket. If you're at Worlds, you probably notice these people with these jackets. I'll explain them to you for people that weren't there. There's a link to pictures down below. They say Team USA on them. They're really nice. And then it'll have my name on the back. So that's expensive, and I'm getting money to port, put towards that. But I won't be getting that till almost November, so yeah. Uh, I shipped Cubix a Megaminx today because I accidentally came home with his Megaminx after Worlds. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but um, anyway, it was cool. Found I found it in my box of stuff. Uh, I don't <laughs> steal cubes or anything. It It just got mixed up in a bunch of my stuff which I'm not real sure how that happened but so yeah I know there's other stuff I wanted to talk about uh but everything whenever I, I have everything like all organized and then as soon as I hit record it just kind of leaves so yeah if there's anything oh yes I, I forgot this last time I tried to make this video as well so uh, a few days ago, I don't remember how many now, uh, the Rubik's Card 101, you may have seen him on my channel before, he was having a live stream and he had a Twist the Web group thing going, so I'm like, hey, I'll go on Twist the Web, why not, and I'm solving, my first solve is like 14, which is good, and the next solve, I had a pretty easy cross, I believe it was four or six moves or something, and then I had a free pair right away, and then just an insert, uh, on the right, and then there's just no pauses in my F2L, the easiest OLL, the first OLL I ever learned, so the easiest OLL, and then PLL skip, and I got a 9.58, and Drew Brads was there, and a bunch of other people, and I, I, I first had, I hit space bar like four times, I read the timer like a bunch, and then I almost fell out of my chair, it was, it was pretty cool to get a sub 10 second solve. I doubt I'll be able to do that again for a long time, but yeah, I I can now say I, I can solve a Rubik's Cube in under 10 seconds, so, and I was expecting my first sub 10 to be like 9.99, but so getting a 9.58 was pretty cool, so yeah, uh, a lot of other stuff has been going on, but uh, I don't think any of you would care to hear about that, so I'm going to leave now. And you're going to probably leave too because the video is done. Goodbye.